We're here at the Wilsonville District event with Team 1540, the Flaming Chickens. The Flaming Chickens are just coming off of their last season, becoming the PNW District Champs. I'm here with William, Sana, and Sienna. Uh, we're here to talk about their robot and specifically about their elevator on behind the bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, future-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options through their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna start by talking about our elevator. Um, we set out this year with a goal to be able to score on all levels and do it as fast as physically possible. Um, so our elevator meets this goal and in doing that also maintains our reliability for everything. So we have a continuous in-tube belted elevator, um, taking inspiration um, from several other teams on Chief Delphi. Thank you to everyone who posts that. Um, so it's driven by two Kraken X60s uh, with a three to one reduction on a 24 tooth HDD pulley. Um, so it's got pretty blazing fast reductions and we have constant force springs to counterbalance the weight so basically we're moving up without having to fight gravity and we are able to move all the way up to l4 in about half a second um, so let me see if you want to run that yeah so we're able to do that super reliably we don't have to worry about teams getting into our elevator or causing any troubles in there and it's been super reliable it's been super reliable for us so far uh, another big part of this is just the tight integration of everything. So our gearbox in here is super tightly um, packaged. We've got a coaxial uh, mount for the constant force spring um, within the arm gearbox. And just in this tiny little carriage, we've also packaged the entire reduction um, for our end defector. And we have our wires running through a tube that is removable with a single snap ring on the back side of the carriage, which lets us take that off super, super smoothly. And that's a great segue into our wiring, which has been another huge part of our design this year. So you can see when it goes into the back of the elevator, there are wires that go straight through the tube in the arm. And so those wires, we don't have to worry about any twisting, any getting hit in the air. They're just going straight through um, and coming out super securely in the end effector. And that was kind of our philosophy for the entire robot. We had a lot of electrical troubles last year and we wanted to mitigate that as much as possible. Um, so you can see it from the ground up, starting with the drivetrain. We have a super, super open drivetrain. We went with lightning, lots of squares and triangles down there to make our wire routing easier. And our favorite part of the whole thing, the whole electrical system, we have some square holes. You know, they might not be the most structurally integral, um, but they're pretty darn good for routing the wires through things. Um, so yeah, that's all super smooth and we haven't had a single electrical failure at an event this year. Um, so we're super, super proud of that. All right, so down here we have our intake, our ground intake, which we're pretty proud of. So you'll see here, this is a full width intake for coral. It allows us to pull coral in from this side pocket here. There's kind of a, a rim through there and then funnel it over to one side with these vertical rollers and this longer horizontal roller, all with these star wheels before they move down and into the end effector. So that's just a very clean, quick handoff right up and through. I'll show that for you in a minute. One thing you'll note with the intake is everything is designed to be just about as light as possible. Our gears, our pulleys, uh, even our spacers are all 3D printed with the intention of keeping everything really light. We also used uh, SRPP, self-reinforced polypropylene, just for a little extra weight cutting here. So that's all helps to keep everything super light and then this is actually also attached with only six bolts. So super easy to switch on and off. We definitely use that a lot with our prototyping phase. We focus a lot of modularity here. So this has gone through many iterations, really just to perfect all of our geometry throughout our, our build process. So now we'll just demonstrate a quick coral run through. You 
can see, super easy, super quick handoff straight into the end effector, which can then go in place on any level. Um, yeah, so I'll go into more of um, the controllers uh, that we use and some of the automation that we have. So we're really proud of our custom co-pilot board that we have over here, um, where each of this inner circle over here is representing branches on the reef. Um, and then these four levels over here, um, they are uh, the different levels, so like L1, L2, L3, L4. Um, and then we have a barge button, a processor button, and um, various uh, buttons that align with the different cages. So as co-pilot, um, this board has really increased the efficiency of our matches and the speed at which we can score coral, um, take algae off the reef and put it into the barge and then also climb. Um, we do a lot of simulation too using Advantage Kit. Uh, shout out to Mechanical Advantage for that. Um, and that has allowed for a lot of great driver practice, but also for software to test things while um, Mechanical is making fixes to the robot. Um, the, the simulation um, and the automation have really helped uh, improve our software uh, this year and uh, remove any of that driver variability that can occur without that automated, th these automated sequences. Um, I'd also like to point out my favorite part of the robot, which is our beautiful LEDs on our elevator. Um, they are actually functional too. I know they look super pretty, but they serve the purpose of telling our drivers when we've intaken a part or when we've reached end game, for example, um, and are, have been a really good indicator to our driver. There we have it, Team 1540, the Flaming Chickens here at Wilsonville. Uh, good luck, team, on everything you do this weekend, and we look forward to seeing you at the District Champs in a few weeks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Kettering University's cutting edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu first.